So we like to start these with just getting to know you a little bit, uh, a little bit better. My mom was an entrepreneur. She was kind of my inspiration for entrepreneurship. And she, um, she bought a computer because she wanted to computerize her business. Wow. Um, and so I started playing with it when I was young. It was an IBM XT. And as a result, I got a job in a computer store in okay. high school. Uh, and before you think I was a complete nerd, um, in addition to making money uh, selling software, which I did at 15, 16 years old, I also made money throwing keg parties. Sure. And uh, we had these vans and mobile kegs in the back, and we would go to golf courses. And, and the big decision for us was, do you have three kegs or four kegs, and do you charge $2 a head or $3 a head? And if you got too many kegs, you didn't make enough money, not enough kegs, you had a lot of angry people chasing you. Sure. And, and too many kegs, and then too many people found out. And well, no, the hope was that the police would bust the party before you actually ran out of beer, right? So <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> and I was saying to the CEO of the board meeting, I said, I don't know, I just have this blind belief that you guys are going to create an enormous success. Hmm. And for every time I felt hugely stressed that our burn rate was getting too high, and I didn't know who else was going to fund the company, and I've already put in so much... I'm all in on this company, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, who is this again? You mentioned earlier. Can't right? remember. And, uh, and, and, and I'm all in on the company. And they're doing well. They are doing well. But the problem with being all in, if, I, if, if all in for me, let's say I can write 10 to $12 million per company. If I write $2 million and we hit a bump in the road, I can write another $2 million. World. If I write $9 million, you hit a bump in the road, I'm pretty fucked. Um, so. To be a CEO, you go out and you recruit somebody, and you recruit someone from, I don't know, Google, Yahoo, Facebook, or the startup around the corner, and you say to them, I know you're on a career track, I know you're earning X, and I can't pay you X, but come join me, we're going to go do something special. Mm -hmm. And the minute you do that, I, I, I own your success in a bad way, meaning I'm responsible for you, I'm responsible for your career track. If I screw up, and you've got this little blip that you have to explain, explain why did I work at Startup Grind for two years when it went into the ground, which, of course, it won't, which it, right? You, yeah. have, you have confidence you can do. But, but we like, will be a $100 million company, Mark. Is that it? No, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, there's the confidence. So I'm, I, I, need to, I need to get in the mirror tonight and work on it. There you go. <clears throat> no, but, um, but honestly, that's why it sucks being a CEO because I had people coming to me um, by the way, we're completely bouncing off walls. I think it's my lack of sleep or ADD. But um, I had a guy come to me who said, um, I'm thinking about getting a mortgage. Do you think now is a good time? And I'm like, fudge no. It's, uh, it's a terrible Here. time. We've got three months cash, and I have no idea if we're going to raise more money. Yeah. But that's not actually what I said. So um, I said to him, listen, you know, it's a startup. Hmm. Obviously, startups never have long runways, but I feel pretty good about how we're doing. I feel good about our chances of raising more capital. If you feel it's the right thing to do, you should do it. But just know we work at a startup, right? There's risks. Yeah. And so he goes away and he gets his mortgage. And now I own, <laughs> I own the responsibility for that. And I don't take that lightly. Like, you, you have knots in your stomach on a constant basis. You worry about all your staff, you worry about their reputation, you worry about your own reputation, you worry about the people who gave you money, you worry about the customers who entrusted you, you know, because everyone who said, I'm going to use Mark software, yeah, they made that decision. If I go under, then they're the putts who, you Built know. Built on top of you. Yeah. yeah. I was deeply technical when yeah. I went into Anderson Consulting. And I got paid much less than engineers who graduated because I graduated with a degree in economics. Hmm. And they paid engineers four grand more entry point. By the way, the, the salary, which yeah, was, a yeah. was a good salary, it was a good salary, was $27,000 entry salary, and engineers were paid 31 to 35. So that was significant, the was, engineering versus non engineering. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of my friends were making 18, 19 grand. Right. And so moral of my story is you make your own brand. You're never good enough. No, yeah. you make your own brand. It's like if you want to be the marketing person or you want to be mm. perceived as a business person or a VC or a technical person or whatever you want to be perceived, people will always define you. 
Hmm. And the only way to break that mold is to define yourself. And the only way to define yourself is to come up with the brand that you want to create for yourself and to always tell people that that's what you are. So when I got into venture capital, I thought, well, what could I do that's different? And I thought, I'm going to be in L.A., which I was only supposed to come for two years. And here we are seven years later. But um, I was only supposed to come for two years, or it's six years later. Uh, I was only supposed to come for two years. And um, I thought, do I want to brand myself as the L.A. guy? Yeah. And I thought, nah, that, 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 I, I want to do the best deals wherever they are. But I thought most VCs that I met didn't have very good operational experience. So I thought, well, what if I created a blog called Both Sides of the Table and I could emphasize the fact that I used to sit on your side of the table. So mm. then I just chose to brand myself as that guy. But you can create your own brand. 